Hello everyone, welcome back to Puzzle Run Plays Darkest Dungeon Crimson Court. What do you say we go back into the courtyard today? There's actually quite a few different areas that have town events and such, but I would like to get back into the courtyard. We've got quite a ways to go in there, I think. Uh, I think we're going to take pretty much the same group we took last time. I believe we took a Levy last time. Yeah, the Stunrise Sunset group, but this time I'm going to carry Battlefield Medicine on Abstract. So we need to equip them. So let's get that going. Swordsman Crest is an absolute definite. Uh, do we have like class ones? Yeah, so you have the Glittering Spalders. We definitely want that. What else do we want here? Um, so you're good. Definitely need your damage. For you, actually, let's look at uh, Cathara first. We want to give her Junia's head. And probably the Aria box as well to protect her. For Alivia, we'll take the Legendary Bracer and could double up and give her Dismas' head as well. It's going to mean that her stress gain is going to be absolutely insane, though. Might not be a good idea. Well, I mean, if we give her this one, it's going to be the same situation. She's got 33 HP. Who do we want to give the protection to is a good question. That's pretty potent. I think most of the damage we're taking out of Abstract, although he does get a lot of good dagger hits, is from the Blight. I don't know if the damage increases your dot damage. Someone should clarify that for me. If you do know, uh, let me know if anything that increases damage also increases uh, damage over time. That would actually be really important to know. I did also sell off some of our trinkets because we had a lot of trinkets that were... Oh, just in case I want to use this. We have a little extra money. I sold off some more of the common trinkets just because we're not really using those. Let's see. Don't need that. Can't imagine we'll want to go to use Breakthrough, but maybe. We'll probably stick with this setup for now. And they're all, I believe, maxed out upgrade-wise. Yeah. Now I am saving up. I would like to get up uh, weapon smithing and armor smithing because that'll also give us the next level on, or the ability to get the next level on experience recruits, which would be really nice. But yeah. So let's go into the courtyard here. Uh, yes, we have four invitations, which is good. I'm probably going to take all of the food. I'm probably going to take a lot of torches. We do need to take some blood. We should get more, but we need to take a fair amount. And we're probably just going to stack up, and if we end up... I don't want to really take the laudanum. If we waste some money as a result, um, kind of so be it. Now, this is probably going to put me into the dungeon not where i think it's going to so I'm, I'm really overspending here and i'm very well aware of that yeah we have we are actually starting to lose blood so i may need to take a blood mission in the near future but yeah I, i'm well aware i'm overspending on this but the more we can get cleared the better now i think this is actually going to put me back where i exited which was not what i was thinking was going to happen yeah so that's not exactly ideal, because I did end up leaving a lot of areas behind. My um, I, my assumption, I guess, was that we were going to end up back at the entrance, so that was uh, that was something I misunderstood there. Okay, so you're wasting. You do need to drink two of these right off the bat. So hopefully we're going to get more. If we don't get more, that's going to be a big problem. Well, I would imagine being in here, we're going to get more. We can always retreat as well. I mean, that's... We're very unlikely, I think, to find and kill the Baron on this run. But maybe, I mean, who knows? We do need to find some sort of key, eventually. 
Now I kind of actually want to backtrack and hit these side rooms. Ah, there's going to be combat there though. Yeah, we'll go. We'll hit these two side rooms to the south of me here. Alright, we got a ghoul and a couple of the maggots. Do I have the double? Yeah, the double damage on her. Unlikely to stun this guy, I think. Maybe we can get rid of one of these. Close. Okay, we did get it. We got the bleed on it. Nice. Skull toss is a stressor. Now, our stress levels are, I mean, not insignificant. So we might have to have... Wow, crit on Cathara. She very rarely gets crit. The end approaches. We might need to do some inspiring cry stress management via Renald here. Soothed. Sedated. I think we'll just kill this. Execute now we're just clear to kill the ghoul. We should still be able to hit it with the Levy's bleed. Because it's uh he's a two sizer. Yeah, we got him up to eight damage per round here. I think I'm actually no, nah, you know what? Let's heal her. Let's save that. I was gonna go for the stun, but it was just so unlikely. Alright, that's a potential bleed. It is, and it's a nine damage bleed, so I'll probably cure that. Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. There we go. So we will end up doing some somewhat unnecessary backtracking. I probably will not touch the stuff to the left of this door until we get the key. If we find the key, then we'll go back there, but otherwise I think that'll be my limit to backtracking. And it's quite a distance to get back here, so... I did also forget that we're in Bloodlight and not regular. So I should be using these torches fairly liberally. Stress levels are um, gaining pretty quickly. The real question is, do I want to go all, yeah, let's go all the way back. The furthest point we're going to hit. All right, so this will be our first kind of new path here. So these connect, actually. Interesting. Uh, I will just straight up check this room then. Maybe there's something in it. Or maybe uh, there's something in the hallway. No, I thought maybe we would get scouting there. Alright. All right. You're back to passive. Okay, we got a large corpse eater and the Chevalier. Scary. I think the corpse eater is the lesser of evils. It's got a lot more health, but I think it's far less deadly. Let's try for a stun here. Nice. Kind of unlikely to stun the corpse eater. Ooh, double debuff there. That's a huge debuff, actually. In fact, I think we'll just cleanse that. Yeah, we'll just hack away out of here. I should have hit this dude with Cathara, but all right. Kind of unlikely to blight him, but we're also unlikely to bleed this guy. Hmm. Go for the Blight, see what happens. Did resist, it's unfortunate. I think he's dead now? Nope, he's gonna have one health. Boy, I've been doing that a lot. We should just go for the kill here. There we go. So he's taken care of. We just have you left. Stun chance is about 60%. Nah. Wow. That was a way bigger hit than I expected. Oh, I still can't count. Yeah. I was thinking 
I guess I was looking at two turns there. I don't, sometimes, you know, I mean, brains are overrated, right? Who <laughs> needs to think? He's definitively gone this time. I know that for a fact. I'll actually do some stress reduction here. And we get a vial of blood. Very, very important here. Get our torch buff back and head on further in. Treasure there. Trap that way. This room looks like it's potentially a dead end. So we'll head here first. Probably have abstract on the trap. If I can get close enough. Where is the trap? I actually did not know what I was looking for and ended up tripping it. That's unfortunate. I guess I was a little closer to it than I thought there. So we'll have to have her heal herself a bit. We have two manservants. They're gonna guard up the big dude back there. To get a double stun. Oh, that's interesting that he guarded the stun. I actually didn't think you could guard area effect attacks like that. That's very interesting to me. So you should be dead. Yep. Sweet. Tempted to... Let's see if we can draw aggro on Renault here, because I'm a little concerned about Cathara's health, and this is exactly why. And she's stunned. That's actually exceptionally bad. We could cleanse the extra two damage. I mean, this is, seems not like a great idea, though. Huge blight resist on both of you. Your stun resist is worn off. Stun you again. I guess stun you for the first time because the debuff was gone. Right, that guy buffed up and transformed. You definitely need to heal yourself. Nice, and you crit. 16 crit heal. That's exceptionally good luck. That cuts on its own. The manservants are certainly dangerous, but they're not the biggest issue. Unlikely to stun. Interesting that it almost feels like they're less dangerous after they have healed. Unfortunate dodge there. Because they can't do the stress attack once they've... Transformed. <laughs> nice abstract with the big old crit. Okay, that is a new attack. We actually had not seen that before. Choice cut and it's a bleed attack. But it didn't hit. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Right, you're up to a six damage. You get two turns left, Max, so you're dead. So we don't have to worry about that one anymore. They get a bleed though. They'll actually be able to heal that as long as we get his turn or she gets his turn her turn first. I always forget that the Plague Doctor is uh is female in Darkest Dungeon. So used to Plague Knight, I think that it forget at times. Yeah, we'll go for the single target here. Sure. I'll just have you buff up for no apparent reason. Slowly. Gently. That's a lot of stuff. This is how Life is taken. We can leave behind that gold for now. Ah, container used the key. Okay, so this is that key we needed. We have you eat this food. Good, so now we can actually get through that passage. So I now I think I'll do the backtracking. And we'll go... I mean, it doesn't really matter which way we go at this point. In terms of backtracking. I'm not sure which is faster. Probably going up backwards through the door is quicker. Although we do have this other path down here. 
Or maybe we'll hit that first. We'll go this way. And other than time, the only thing we're really losing is a little bit of stress here. But it is a significant amount. I'm not sure how many points it is per... Is it one per tile? Yeah, it's one stress across the group per tile, which is not insignificant when you're traveling this far. I mean, we've got like another maybe 20 stress back to the door, so... All right, you are craving. I don't want you in bloodlust, though, so we're just going to let that go until you hit wasting. It's nice having them with the buff, but we have to rely on her ability to heal and protect the group. Alright, getting scouting here would be nice. But it's not going to happen. Alright, we have a courtesan here. Now Rinald is, that's not what I want to do at all. I <laughs> just meant to click on him. Uh, Rinald is craving, which is a bit of an issue. Fair amount of stress there, and she's stunned. Well, that's terrifying. Hmm. Try to just kill you. Dodge. There we go. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Debating if I want to start doing stress management on Abstract here. We're going to lose a lot of damage doing that. We're going to put him in Bloodlust too, though. Now, the crit on that is exceptional because we get the bonus stress reduction too. I think we'll do that. I think we'll just have the Bleeders take out the Ghoul. And we'll have Renald trying to do some stress reduction here. It's not a great setup, but it should help a bit. I want to risk the stun, maybe? 60%? Nice. Worked out well. So this one's dead. He'll he'll lose a turn on the stun, and then he'll die on his next turn. So we'll just do some healing here until that happens. Wow, big crit there. Have you buffed yourself? Nice, another crit on the banner there. Actually, really good. Again, yeah, just fishing for crits from Abstract to see if she would the beast. do some stress reduction. That went really well. Glory. Hmm. Could dump some torches here. I mean, torches are only giving us a very minor accuracy buff. They're not really necessary. We'll do that. Continue to this room. Hopefully there's something useful here. If there's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. Ah, there's a fountain. I don't know 100% what the fountain does. I'm just checking people's buffs here. Divine benefit. Okay, it did reduce stress and healed. So we have a couple of paths. I'm not sure if it's worth going to that battle because it's just a battle, but at the same time, I don't really know what else is up there. So it's probably a good idea to do the complete exploration if possible. 
I know I've checked like a hundred times already, but nobody else has stress reduction and stuff, right? Actually, you should check out Hand of Light again at some point. It does, it's a front row thing, but it's a pretty strong buff. I know you don't have any stress reducers. I don't believe you do either. No, so it's just Renald here. And we don't get an opportunity to camp in these missions, unfortunately. It's too bad, because it would kind of be interesting if... How much blood do we have? We have two. Put you in blood. It would be interesting if you got the option to buy firewood, because they do take up a ton of inventory space. It would be interesting if you get the option to buy firewood. I'm assuming the secret room is... yeah. Just want to check just in case it replenishes itself for some bizarre reason. We're gonna to need to start finding more blood though. We're not, we're not at a good equilibrium here. We're actually gonna run out pretty quickly. Okay, this combat is a little nasty. We go for the stun. We go for the stun. And we obviously can't stun that Supkin. Dodge there. We can try to kill it. Wow, we can one shot it too. Good job, Bernal. Hmm. I think we go for a kill on this. Close. Not quite. Let's have Habstract finish it off. Unfortunately, Ronaldo's not going to be able to hit the back row now. So I'll give him a turn to... Yeah, I'll give him a turn to just buff up. Alright, she is in wasting now. So that's a little concerning. We're going to have to take care of that. That should be a kill, actually, right? No, it's only three damage. I was thinking we had a second blood hit there. Fair amount of damage. Resist the debuff, resist the stun. Good stuff. So we can take some time to heal up. Or attempt to heal up. Wow, he's crit on that inspiring cry a huge number of times. Alright, we're gonna have you... Fortunately, drink what is our last blood. That's kind of scary. I believe we torch this. Yeah. Hey, we got a blood out of it. Super, super important. I don't want to ditch though. Maybe it'll ditch the holy water. We'll just buff up here. Gem is worth a lot. Might not actually need antivenoms in here. We'll gamble on that. Uh, I will eat some of this food too. We've got quite a bit. Would be nice to free up one of these spots. So it doesn't look like there's anything in here, but not too tough of a combat. Relatively speaking to what else is, what other horrors we can find in here. Wow. I'll take it. Thank you very much, Abstract. Yeah, I think this is the only Blight attack that we see here. It's not all that common. So that should be a kill. That's the three bleeder. Yep. You are done. Two left. Unfortunately, it did resist the bleed. And we got one. Alright, I mean, that's not terrible, but not ideal there. What is better accuracy? I suppose it doesn't matter. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. I'm actually going to have Habstract cure the bleed if 
she gets a turn first. Which she is. Very nice. And she get a crit, so we get a little bit of stress healing there. Uh, both? Destroyed. Another vial of blood. Very good. Weary. We definitely want the bus, so let's eat up this food. We'll take those, we'll leave behind the onyxes. We get scouting, so there's actually more to this side of this courtyard area. This might be a dead end though. I think we give you blood. What happens if we do that? Blood for treasure. Oh! That's unfortunate because there's no way we're carrying those. That charm is really nice though. I'll... Hmm. Let's use our holy water and try to take the charm for now. Because it would be nice to get even higher... healing potential. I don't know if I want to equip it for this mission, but that might be a pretty good combo. Especially because it doesn't have any downsides like a lot of the trinkets do. Nothing. So that was a dead end. Okay. I wonder if this whole bottom section... I keep forgetting that I have my mouse cursor hidden when I'm recording, but uh, I wonder if that whole bottom section is mirrored to the top half? If so... This place is actually insanely huge. Might be worth opening this door. Either way. Just opening it like right now. Cause we get that maybe it'll get the key out of our inventory if it's like a single use sort of situation. It's actually a good idea. Good job, brain. Now whether or not that'll be the case is I guess we'll find out. But we'll we'll see if that is how it works. Save some space, pick up some more loot. Forget what you do with these. Do you burn it? Yes. Oh, and that's the stress reducer. I guess that was good, though. Okay, so that does remove the key. Is there anything in here? No, okay. So that's good. So we have that. Whoops. We have that cleared now. I did unfortunately spawn a trap when I did that. Oh, I see the trap now. There we go. It is kind of hidden, though. Stress management is decent. So yeah, we'll head up here and see if this is, in fact, mirrored. If so, this place is definitely taking another turn or another round in here. Oh, we actually just spawn enemies from that trap. Okay. Surprise. I shouldn't jinx it, but amazingly, Abstract has managed to not get cursed so far. Press this, advantage. this combat should end right here. Nice. Very easy. As victories mount, so too will resistance. I guess my next curiosity about it is. I don't want to use a blood on these. Yeah. Um, we really can't afford to. My next curiosity is, if this whole area is this big, where's the Baron? Is the Baron just on this far eastern side, or somewhere else? We're going to go for a single stun here. We're obviously not going to stun the Supplicant, but that's fine. Our stress level is actually starting to get pretty high up. That's going to be an issue. Nice. Big crit from Alibi there. I guess, I mean, I don't really want to spend turns uh, from one of our biggest damage dealers doing stress healing, but it probably balances out in the end. You've got a 3 damage bleed, so we only need to hit you for a few points of damage. Nice. 
So you have a max of two turns remaining. Should he get the Blight? We can cure that, and we will. It's essentially like a nine point heal for curing that. I'm glad that the, the blood abilities or the curse causing abilities don't also come with a chance to like advance the curse. Like they can't put them into craving or wasting or things like that just by virtue of using it again. That would really kind of be a pain. I've actually been fairly dodgy here. What do you got? That's a 9 one? Okay. We'll cure that up too. I think we'll try to kill this guy. Close. The big stressor there. Fix that. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. And we'll kill off you. A little bit of a waste of some points of damage, but we didn't really have a better option. You don't have a turn left, so let's do this. I believe we should be able to get the kill on the mosquito here. Good. Very nice. Hey, there's a ton of stuff. The Blight Charm, we're just gonna dump. We'll eat some food. Even though it's cluttering my inventory, I am glad that I brought that much food. It's nice getting those free heals. Have we had 100 events in here? I think so. So let's find out. If this is mirrored, which I'm thinking it is... Oh no, it's not. Huh. Interesting. Who's craving? You are. Um, yeah, we'll do that. You're helpful in Bloodlust. Ah, we might have three cravings coming up. Which is very scary. So I'm assuming Rinald is close again, and Cathara might actually be as well. But we'll, we're gonna let her go to wasting still. So as long as we pick up another blood in the meantime. Definitely going to have to do one of those blood run missions, I think. So we've only got nine left at home. We're probably not taking any back. Stress levels continue to mount here. More scouting. Okay. Interesting layout. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. Okay. So this branch is way out. These rooms are basically empty, but I'm wondering if that curio in the the top right room on the path we're going, I wonder if that's... Oh no! That's unfortunate. So that was actually a cause of the Crimson Curse that had him open that. Fortunately, we surprised them. Wow, and that's one of the most... Ridiculous hits we've ever gotten with that ability. Yeah, that's unfortunate because I really wanted the stress reduction from burning that with Cathara. And we're, we missed that opportunity. Hmm. Let's just try to kill the mosquito. No such luck. And that's kind of why I wanted to kill it because now she's getting even higher. And neither of these are in... Yeah, this one's not in dot damage kill range yet. We'll just do this, though. Good job. So anything will kill this one now. Any singular attack. Like so. We did get another vile blood and some Success deeds. So I think we'll dump the rest of our torches. Or well... Is it merely a trick of the light? We haven't used bandages for anything, right? We'll dump those instead. We do have a real combat coming up here. And we'll actually top off food. Oh, this is... I kind of wish the Chevaliers... Is it, is it Chevaliers or Chevaliers? I still have not looked that up. 
I wish those were plus 50% stress for five rounds. That is actually extremely bad. I wish uh, these were a two size because the fact that you can have this many of them in combat is terrifying. Uh, we definitely need to do something about Kathara here. In fact, we'll probably give her a medicinal herb to dump that debuff because we can't afford to have her with that high of a stress modifier when she's already in serious trouble. Resist? Resist. Good. Yeah, we're definitely giving you a medicinal herb there. And... Hmm. Could stun you. Kinda need to heal and leave you at some point. Gibbering Entourage. Whoa, what? We <laughs> Hold on. Okay. So that's terrifying. So Gibbering Entourage, once they've transformed, their guard ability turns into an ability that not only guards the entire party. Did they transform them too? No, I don't think so. I think it just guards the entire party. That's... That's nuts. Yeah, we definitely need to... I don't want to handle this even. Maybe we get a double stun here? Good, so the stun did remove the guard. Find pallet. Ooh, and that's a stun. Boy, these, these guys are actually way nastier than I thought they were. So when they transform, they're significantly more dangerous. We just hadn't seen the abilities up to this point. Might have been good to go for the double stun, actually, but... We have to do stress management here. We're losing a ton of damage this way, but... If she goes into... Afflicted state, we're in some serious trouble. We're doing the gibbering entourage again. These two are dead? Yes. We'll just kill you. <laughs> Alright, well that works. Get rid of the corpse as well. So the guard is gone also. Now we can just start attacking you. It's fine. She can take it. Alright, where do we have... Cathara's back down to 59 stress. That's pretty manageable. Unfortunately, now that this thing's in the second row, we're not wasting too much damage by having Renal do stress management. Nice. Okay. Remind yourself that overconfidence is I think we'll free up some space, grab it. these crests, dump the antivenom, and get moving. Now we're back up to three blood, so we're actually in pretty decent spot with that. You are craving. Yeah, okay, we'll put you in bloodlust. So we took two, uh, four with us, so we're only down two blood so far. And let's actually go to the empty space first, see what we find there. All right, you're in craving. We're going to give you the stress reduction here. Think that works? Doesn't. It's the other one that does that. We'll dump the last torch, pick up these deeds. So it's only the, the other plant that gives the stress reduction on that. And I know, I realize it just dumped my other torch in the manner of doing that, but... Wow, it goes further out in this direction? I did not expect that. This looks like an empty room, but that seems very suspicious to me. I suppose it could be, but it seems kind of unlikely. It's not, okay. Yeah, there's a treasure here. Do we have any keys left? We do, we have a lot of keys actually. I'm not gonna deal with your servitude. Or your attitude for that matter. That was a double, ooh, that's, 
That's unfortunate. Hmm. Not gonna get a stun here. I think when we have the opportunity, we do some damage. Since Cathar is not really on the edge anymore. That might be the double stun? Double resist. Much nicer. Alright, come on, two in a row, abstract. Nope. Alright, she did get the stun hit that time. We have taken a lot of damage now already in this combat. The debuffs are really what's crazy, too, is it? Dodge debuff is just intense. Nice. Apparently they heard me talking about Habstract being so resilient because they are really going after her now. Manservant can bleed, so we will do that. So we need Renal to take care of the Supplicant, I think. There's a bleed. So that's taken care of. Probably have Habstract cure the bleed. Probably have Cathara heal. Ooh. Cathara's probably gonna do a single point heal now. I was gonna do a group heal, but now I'm a little concerned about Abstract's health. Eight is alright. Let's just kill this. Oh, it dodged! That's super bad. This is gonna get another turn now, probably. And another bleed on Renald. There we go, we did get it killed. So we just have the two big ones left, but we do have corpses in the way. These just do so much damage, this is wild. Definitely do Cathar and so Renald's just gonna kinda have to bleed out for a bit. Yeah, we get, did get a crit in there, it makes it worthwhile. You can't do anything, really. I should have had you actually do Bulwark. Didn't really think of that. I always forget that ability. And these probably don't deal with marks, but... Just the potential of drawing aggro would really help. So many bleeds going out. They must have a really high bleed chance on those. We're spending a lot of our time just curing rather than attacking. Which is making this quite difficult. We're also not really losing ground. So that's, you know, a plus. Ah, oh, he's probably gonna take his own turn. Nope, he just stressed everyone out. That's fine. Alright, so we'll just bulwark here for the last little bit. Hopefully he gets more attacks on him. Alright. <laughs> failed failed that one already. And another bleed on her. I'm definitely glad I switched out and put Battlefield Medicine on Habstract, because we definitely need these heals or these cleanses rather unfortunately we're not going to get one this turn because she was stunned the six damage bleed I actually think I'm going to stun you Are these both, uh, both dead here? Yes. Okay, good. So we have some time to heal a little bit. How much is left on that? We might as well cleanse it. And 50 and 55. You're probably more likely... Okay. You don't want it. Never mind then. Go with someone who's far more appreciative. This party is really good at self-sustain also, and self-management when we have opportunities like that. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. So at this point. Be... I mean we're not gonna really need to use the medicinal herbs. Might actually just dump this charm after all.
I guess we'll go with that. Uh, let's open this anyway. What? Oh. Oh. Okay. The Sacrificial Cauldron we definitely want, so let's dump out the rest of these medicinal herbs and take that. The rest of this we can deal without. So we'll probably start dumping gold next because the heirlooms are f worth far more. Uh, if we don't find another sapphire though, a pile of gold is worth more. And of course, if we ever hit a point where it feels like we're not gaining anything else from here, we can just head out. Don't have to go all the way to the end here. We probably won't be able to anyway. But everybody's still in good shape. Probably once it gets to the point where we run out of food, I think will be where I'll call it. Actually, I didn't even realize it's already been a 45 minute dungeon run. Holy cow. Stress levels are getting high too. If someone has a break, then we'll have to do that. You're in wasting, unfortunately. Um, yeah, if someone becomes afflicted, then we'll definitely have to deal with that. So this is the the bleed one. Yeah, that did happen. All right, so we have some sort of curio in here with combat, I assume. No combat. Scouting actually connects to the next room. We don't have a torch. What happens if I touch this? It opens enemies. Okay, I wasn't sure if there was a chance of doing something else. Maybe there still is, but at least now I have a better idea. Uh-oh. Nope, still not, uh, still not cursed. Oh, wow. That's a, I don't believe we've seen that attack before, and that's a huge amount of bleed. Wow, that up the bleed on a Levy too. And this gives uh repost. Can we stun them out of that? The ground they do get No, it does not stun them out of it. That's crazy. That was an intensely challenging attack there. Uh, we definitely will not want to see that more often. Huge stressor on abstract on that one. Yeah, we definitely need to clear off the Levy. She's still got like a 10 damage bleed on her. And you you can't while you're stunned, right? Good. Okay, so that one's dead. We got rid of that, and you are not though. Could have gone for a stun there. Might have been a better idea. Three, three. Let's just go for the kill. Let's just end the combat. We get another vial of blood this and a bunch more heirlooms. At least promises success. I am very concerned about this room coming up. There was a trap. Oh my god, that did a ton of damage. Okay, what's time to eat some food. Getting a little too low on health for my liking. This next room concerns me because I feel like we're getting closer and closer to the point of. Maybe a bad idea? It's a bleed. Oh, finding another boss. If there is like another crocodilian in here, I swear. I shouldn't even say that out loud before we get into these combats. I think we're actually gonna take out the manservant first. I'm actually hard of like I'm actually scared of these things now. She may be going for more of the double stun setups as well. I haven't really been doing those. It's a lot of stress on Habstract. She's very close to the edge. But I'm not sure. I think at this point we just start killing things and we deal with the afflictions if they happen. Yeah, we'll get the kill there. 
So this one will actually just die from the bleed, so they will need a corpse and I'll move the other ones up in range. Which is important. Not gonna get another stun. Let's just go for an attack. Buried blast on those two. Stun and Levy, bummer. To minus 80 dodge. I think that's a little excessive. Wow, I actually resisted the bleed. I haven't gotten too many bleed resists from those. I think we will... Now nah, it's just kill. I was gonna say we could stun it, but... Won't be able to reach there. We could stun it. Yeah, let's, let's go for it. We can take a little extra time to manage the party here. That was a pretty strong heal. 10 point heal from that. It's definitely the, a max plus Junior's head there. Kind of unlikely to get a stun and also unlikely to get a blight. Yeah, we did though. In fact, that's an 8 damage. So yeah, so that one's dead. Because it's got 8 health and that's a total of 8 damage. That's actually really good. The crit heal. Pumps, the limbs obey. Do you want those crests? Push on to the task's end. Okay. So we're kind of at the point, I think it's about time to to leave here. We're not going to touch that. I hate just leaving it behind because it's going to make me tempted to, to hit it again later, but... I think we'll probably check this hallway. Oh. Oh, wow. Nice, Abstract. You just stole... Little old lady stuff. I think we'll dump our shovels, take these busts, we'll dump our keys, we'll take the gold. And when we hit the end of this hallway, we'll just leave. I think we've we've used all of our items, basically. We have a full selection of gold and heirlooms. We've made some good progress. Everyone's alive. Nobody's in extreme danger. I think this is where we head here. Yeah, so let's regroup. So that was pretty successful. The end of things. All right, so we actually got a lot of heirlooms out of that. 54 crests, in fact. Quite a bit. No experience. Beast Slayer. Bloodthirsty. It's actually better than Slow Draw, I think. All my life, I could feel an insistent gnawing in the back of my mind. It was a yearning, a thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated. Oh, good. Rooster has returned from a drunken bender. We're definitely running out of blood, though. So I think... Do we get a good... Yeah. We'll definitely go to this blood mission, I think, next time. But that'll do it for now. Take care of our party here. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like. Helps a bunch. Subscribe for more. And I will see you soon.